So the, the question is, has irreducible complexity been refuted or debunked? So irreducible complexity is the, the concept that there are uh, things within living organisms that, um, which are composed of many parts, many proteins or enzymes, what have you, which if they weren't, if, if all those parts weren't there, um, it wouldn't work at all. And, and the illustration that's been used to, to get this concept across is the mouse trap. So your basic wooden mouse trap with the spring and all has five parts, the, the base, the spring, the pin that holds the spring back, the, the, the piece on which the cheese sits. Okay. And the point is that together, all those things can catch lots of mice. If you have one of those pieces missing, it's not that you're going to catch fewer mice, you're going to catch no mice. Okay? It's irreducibly complex. It requires all of its parts coming together at once. And so in the, in the living world, when we find these things, motors, uh, bacterial flagella, and such, they indicate that living things are like that too, that, that living things came fully put together in ways that, so, so this molecular motor in, in a living thing all came together. All 40 proteins came together simultaneously. It couldn't be the product of evolution as, as we think about evolution, okay? So the question then, has that been refuted? The answer is a clear no, okay? The evolutionist has tried to respond, which is a good thing, because most of the arguments made against evolution are completely ignored by the evolutionist because they hold the microphone. So at least in this instance, uh, evolutionists have made a, an attempt at claiming to have debunked this. And, and all they've done is, in the, in the particular case of this bacterial flagellum, they've found a subset of those 40 proteins in another organism and, and made the claim that somehow this bacterium uh, co-opted this subset of 10 proteins on the way to assembling this set of 40. And, and that's really logically absurd. Uh, it, it doesn't account for what is really being claimed, which is that there is no functional or or, or even uh, logical part motor, whether you've got 10 or 39 parts, what, what you require to have anything is all 40 come together. Not only does this particular finding of these 10 proteins in another organism not do the job of refuting the idea of irreducible complexity, but the fact is that we've found numerous examples, probably more than 50 or 100 by now, examples of other such irreducibly complex things that are made up of a, a number of proteins. That, so it, so it's, it's a fact of life that needs to be explained and has not yet been explained and, and will never be explained by a, a gradualist evolutionary uh, idea.